Um, you recognize this as being a human type figure, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, it's actually got a belly button, right? It surely does. Does it appear to be anatomically correct? For the belly button, yes, sir. All right. So, as the defendant described it to you, am I, is this the way he described it in the area of his belly button? Well, what's really important right now, sir, um, number one, you've got your knees up pretty high in his waist. If you want to slide down just a little bit more so okay. that you're in the air, there you go. Have a squat. I can't see your crotch, but in the area of his belly button. Yes, okay. sir. Well, here's his belly button. Am I oh. in the area? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, by the way, did you have the defendant do this? No, sir. When you talked to him, you didn't have him do that? No, sir. Okay. If, um, if this person, this mannequin, were carrying a firearm on their waist, where would the gun be right now in relation to me? Would be at your left inner thigh. Right here, right? Yes. If he was right-handed, it would be at your left inner thigh. Yes, sir. Right. Underneath my leg. Yes, inside your leg. Okay. Were you aware that the defendant described to his best friend that um, when he slid down, the defendant slid down, that uh, Trayvon Martin was up around his armpits? Were you aware of that? No, I've not heard that. No, sir. Okay. Well, where would the gun be now? Now the gun would be um, behind your left leg. Okay. And he said he was in the waist area, and then the defendant may have, or, or Trayvon Martin may have slid down. And my question to you is, would it be consistent, the 90 degrees, if Trayvon Martin had been backing up and the defendant raised his gun and shot at 90 degrees? With you at that angle? 90 degrees to what, sir? When you talk about 90 degrees, we're talking about right. this degree. Right. So if it's front to back 90 degrees, and you're standing there, and you're holding the gun up, Already, you're at least 45 degrees where you are because he's laying flat on the ground. Right, but if and Trayvon you're Martin, straight up. if Trayvon, one at a time, just a little bit. I apologize. If Trayvon Martin's backing up, could not the defendant have shot him at a 90 degree angle? If Trayvon Martin is backing up, correct. And you're saying that Mr. Zimmerman is laying on his back, and he brings the gun to bear on Trayvon. And if he's backing up, then now that suddenly that bullet's going to go straight in back front to back. I'm asking you, could he, could he shoot him at a 90 degree angle? I think I'm getting really lost in this 90 degree thing is really, I don't want to misinform the jury with my answer. Okay. Well, 90 degrees was what you read in the medical examiner's report, That's right? That's correct. And my interpretation was 90 degrees front to back was like it was a for lack of a better word, my interpret I'm not a medical examiner, but my interpretation of the information provided was that it would give it a front to back, for lack of layman's terms, like a level entry, right. not an angled entry. Correct. So as this event is transitioning and you're coming back, if this comes back, then we maintain that. Right. If it's a struggle that's forward, so in your 90 degree reference, I want to be very clear that I'm not trying to say that the manner in which you're demonstrating visually right there with him raising his gun up with you sitting back, I don't know how you could get a 90 degree entry if you're sitting straight back like this. Well, I'm not sitting straight back. I'm just... Uh, it, I, I, um, from my perspective is all I'm trying to say, sir, okay. is it looks like you're more vertically upright and he's sort of like the two of you form a 90. Right. And if the two of you form a 90 where you're straight up and he brings the gun to bear just based on the, his, the, the dynamics of his arm, there wouldn't be a way for it to go straight in. There has to be mutual movement to keep them within right. line. As in, if the defendant started to sit up and Trayvon Martin was getting up, are you saying that there couldn't be a 90 degree angle? Am I saying there couldn't be a right. 90 degree angle with right. him in a half up position right. and you trying to get up? If the bodies become in line, it's as long as, in order for my understanding to maintain the entry, we're going to have to maintain some relativity between the two persons. Right? right? So the relativity, I can sit here and say the same thing that if I'm laying completely back and you're more forward, I can get a 90 degree entry. If we're both coming up, you're asking me to bring up inclusion. Could it happen that way? The answer is absolutely yes. If he's getting up and he's getting up together, sure. We, uh, there's no way I can sit here and say that, no, you couldn't have two people that are maintaining alignment not have that entry. And you were also provided the um, firearms report, right? And you learned that it was a contact wound with the clothing that Trayvon Martin had on? Yes, sir, the clothing. But it wasn't a contact wound with his chest? Correct. So that would be consistent with Trayvon Martin leaning over when he got shot? Yes, right? sir, sure. Okay.
So I'm clear, would you consider a big old piece of concrete a weapon if I hit you on the head with it? If you hit me in the head with concrete, yes. I would How about if I just took your head and smashed it onto concrete? May I use the doll for a moment? Of course. Let's just use this for a moment because I want to follow up on some of Mr. Guy's questions. So, George Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin. Were the injuries on Mr. Zimmerman's back of his head consistent with someone doing this on cement? I, I don't think so. How about this? How about somebody resisting the attempt, the injuries, the two lacerations? Could that have come from cement? If somebody was resisting me pushing down like I, this? I, I believe so. I believe it was a culmination of downward force, whether it was from pushing or striking. And I know clearly by the injuries to his face, and that driv would drive him back, his head striking hard into the concrete. Would you expect, based upon your training and experience, that somebody getting their head struck on the cement would attempt to resist it happening? Uh, they, of course, they would, you know, normal human instinct would try to move away from the pain stimulus, which would just create a, another gap to be driven back. And, and would that occur not only the first time, but every subsequent time? Every, if, whether it's a push or a strike, every time you blow, drive a strike or push straight downward, the body goes until it hits an object that will stop it. Did you see the um, pictures of the injuries that showed punctate bruising and, and lacerations on the side of Mrs. Zimmerman's head? Those were the, when I said rain, blows raining down earlier, you know, the, those were the things that really caught my eye that supported the fact that it was a striking and not a pushing so much because of all of the, lack of a better word, injury or damage that I saw on the side of the head. There's swelling all around his head. It's not just the facial area, it's all around the front well, of the head. Those injuries consistent with somebody pushing a head down to the side. You see me move it to the side like that. Is that similar to that hitting cement? It, it could be. It could Would be that or it could be punches as well, driving those strikes in. And then on the other side, would the, the injuries consist in hitting it down on the side on the left side of Mr. Zimmerman? It could be, and you, you know, and just like uh, Mr. Guy pointed out, if Mr. Zimmerman is on the bottom, and he's not just laying there, he is moving, whether he's trying to defend himself, trying to do his, his sliding techniques or whatever they are, as he's turning his body or his head in those efforts, it's going to redirect and realign, so whatever push or punch comes in next, if he's turned this way, it's going to be a strike to a side, the front. That's all indicative of an ongoing combat event. Now, talking about the angle, Mr. Guy, I think, was suggesting that we need to stay focused with the angle of entry of the wound being basically 90 degrees, so it's straight in, correct? That's what he said, yes. Now, that could happen, of course, as Mrs. Mr. Guy suggested, maybe something like this, if Mrs. Trayvon Martin is trying to now back away at the end of the 45 seconds of screaming, correct? Correct. Uh, do you agree that that's a possibility? Uh, absolutely, it's a possibility. Do you have any evidence that beyond a reasonable doubt that is what happened? No. Could it happen this way? Yes. Same angle. Could it happen yes. this way? Yes. Could it happen if Mr. Martin is reaching back with his hand for yet the final strike or something like that? Could it happen right there when he's coming back over? As long as the alignments of the body stay within those same relative positions, where they are within that axis of movement, it, it's a possibility. Now you know that Mrs. Zimmerman was in fact able to get his gun out of the right side hip, correct? Yes. Now, somehow he got to that, correct? Correct. Do you, how much weight do you give to Mr. Zimmerman's ability to disclose and to advise exactly how that happened? Not a lot. Why not? Because when he became aware of the presence of the, the firearm, um, he reached for it. He, the Mr. transition under stress, the transition of how it got into the hand is kind of moot. And, you know, my background, training, and experience, I've interviewed numerous police officers involved in shootings. And frequently I hear, I, I shot, well, when you draw, they're not clear on how they got into position. They just know they did it. Instinctually, survival mechanism, whatever it is, the point still remains, the gun was in his hand, and he did, in fact, discharge it. And he discharged it in a way that was in contact with billowing clothing that was two to four inches away from his chest, correct? Correct. Which, you know, when we think about the movements, if he's moving with the, I think it was an Arizona iced tea in his jacket, the, the hoodie, 
transition leaning forward, if that body position is there, that T is going to keep it away as they transition back. If he's leaning at some point leaning too far back or whatever, trying to get up, that T is going to be pushing the shirt the opposite direction because it's going with the motion too. At what point and where they were, I can't specifically say. Okay. In the context of your training experiences, the way combat events and how they occur, is it possible that at some point Mr. Martin was in fact up here? There's, there's no question that it's possible because and during the event when he says he's sliding down, I don't expect Mr. Martin to be able to match him move for move. Is it possible that at some point he was up on his chest? Yes. Okay. Is, you know, then he slides back. And is it possible that at some point he was here? Sure. And how about is it possible that at some point during that dynamic altercation he was even this far down? It's possible. When he's this far down, just over the thighs, where is that hip holster? I'm not going to ask you to get up. Just tell me when to stop my finger as to where the hip holster stop. is. Right here. Yes, sir. Available right to Mr. Zimmerman at that point. Yes, sir. Is it available to him at this point? Yes, sir. How about up here? Yes, sir. I is my, at this point, where you say it's available, what is my tie pointing down towards? Can His you belly that? button. My tie is pointing directly to the belly button? Yes, sir. Based upon your training experience, was there just how much thrashing or movement was happening in that dynamic event between these two men at that point? I would have to say a lot. Was that evidenced by the, con the contusions and abrasions on Mrs. Zimmerman's head? Yes, sir. In the clothing, showing the contact, the wet spots on the clothing. You know, I think that you're not going to be involved in an encounter like this without it being dynamic. Back of his head consistent with someone doing this on cement. How about this? How about somebody doing this on cement? 